Okay, so we're going to make some simple uh, shapes in Illustrator and then I'm going to show you how to animate those in Photoshop um, and export out an animated GIF, but um, it could be that you export out uh, something else. So we're going to grab a quick triangle pattern, which you may have guessed is one of my favorites. Okay. And just going to give these some different fill colors. So let's grab these into Photoshop. So we're going to make a new file, okay? And we're going to make a pretty low resolution uh, kind of web uh, video format, okay? So it's going to be, uh, we'll go for NTSC D1 square pixel, which will be 720 by 534. It just means it's kind of small and easy to export. Okay, and then we'll paste in this as, in this case, we're going to paste it in as pixels. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to go to Window, Workspace, and Motion, which is going to bring up our timeline. Okay, so once we're in here, we've got the option to create a video timeline. Okay, and now we can go ahead and start to edit our image. Okay, There's two different kinds of uh, video timeline in Photoshop. One is this video timeline. If anyone's done any video in Photoshop a while ago, then there's this uh, other timeline which basically works um, with layers where you kind of turn layers on and off. Okay, And actually this is easier, it's easier to do this uh, in this way. So basically here I can kind of duplicate uh, layers here. So I'm going to duplicate a few layers. Okay. And then I'm going to add some more frames here. So each of these frames is going to run at the moment for five seconds, which is the kind of old way of making an animated GIF in Photoshop. Basically, you would have a, a frame that was on screen for a, a period of time. So if we change this to 0.2 seconds, each of these, OK. And then basically, for each of these now, I'm going to turn off all but one of these layers okay so basically these video frames work to kind of strobe between those different layers okay so we looked at a timeline before for the editing but this is basically one frame after another so it's kind of a, a different uh, way of doing it so now what I'm going to do is add a hue saturation layer on here I'm just going to do that and I'm going to go back off. so I'm just going to add one for each of these okay so you can see I'm just turning the layers on and off for each different frame so now it just kind of strobes through those different effects okay so you can see in my layers panel, each one of these is just controlling, is just controlled by the layers which are turned on or off. Okay. So it's just flashing between those. So if we press play, it's just going to flash between those, and we'll uh, give our GIF a background. Okay. So now if we play this, okay, that's basically what we get. And it's going to play back once here, or we can loop it forever, in which case it's going to be a forever looping GIF. Okay. So let's go to File, Export, Render Video, 
okay and then we're gonna dun, 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 now I can't remember how to do this it's got to be different file save us it's been a while since I've done this actually I didn't prep this completely so I'm not even sure if this will work, we'll find out. Uh, no, let's just save it first. Here we go. So you go to File, Save for Web, and then the animation is um, saved out there. Okay, so you don't go to the video export for this one. It's just File, Save for Web. Okay, and basically I'm exporting out as a GIF, um, and there's different options for that. You can see my gradient in the background is doing some cool stuff. Um, and then I can also limit the number of colors, which could accentuate the kind of uh, funkiness of the format. So now. I have all that pixelation in the background and I think I'll keep it maybe at 32 just so we have a little bit more detail in there. Okay, so save that. Uh, animated GIF dot GIF to the desktop. So now that would be embeddable in a web page so we could embed that animated GIF in a web page. Obviously you can see you can put any Photoshop graphics that you've designed um, into that. So if I just bring up Safari here, which is, oh, let's use Chrome. So if I go to the desktop here, drag that in. Oops. Okay you have an animated GIF that you can put on the internet. Okay, um, You can put these up on Twitter as a GIF. You used to be able to put it up as your profile picture on Twitter, but they stopped it. So anyone who you see who's got an animated profile picture on Twitter did it like three or four years ago, and they haven't changed their profile picture since then and because Twitter kept all the old animated GIFs but stopped new people putting them up there. So it's like a, a cool thing to, to have on there. Okay, so we made an animated GIF. Uh, you can see the process and also how to, uh, you could get other images in there or uh, photographic images and stuff like that and play with them. Okay, and it loops. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to add in there. Yeah, we could have added text in there and kind of added the movement for the text, but that's the basic uh, principle um, of how to do it. Okay.